Welcome back to another episode of Potato Hunter. There's only one thing you can do when supply starts drying up, and that is you gotta lower your standards and jump on the potato hype train. And now, there seems to be a little bit of confusion recently in the comments section. People are like, dude, Core 2 Duos, that's proper potato. And we gotta clarify a few things. That is a rotten potato. What we're going for here is a good potato, the one that you eat, the one that you chop up into chips, you put in the oven, and then you eat it and you say, hey, I just got some really good value for money. That's what we're gonna be doing today, where we go on good old Gamtree and Facebook. And there's only one thing that we can really do right now, and honestly, that's just cross our fingers and hope we get lucky. <laughs> So we put out a few feelers here on Facebook Marketplace and also Gumtree going through the deals right now. First off was the GTX 660. I offered 50 Aussie dollars. They're asking hundred bucks. It's been sitting up there for a while. So it looks like they've had no interest and they said, yes, they would accept that offer straight up. Next up is a Cougar Gemini M RGB mini tower case. I've actually used one of these before and they look decent and that's what you want when you're flipping a PC. So I've offered them 70 cash pickup for that. So they're still yet to respond. Then we've got an R9 270, which I'm offering 60 cash pickup for. And they say it's hundred percent working, which is always a good thing. Then last up on Facebook Marketplace is a CPU plus motherboard plus RAM. So we've got the whole lot there. All we really have to do is put in a little bit of a lower offer because it is an i5-750. So asking 100 Aussie dollars, I've dropped in 80 Aussie dollars. We'll see if they take that because that coupled with say a GTX 660 is still gonna give you a half decent experience in Fortnite. I believe off the top of my head, you could get on low settings, epic distance, 100% screen resolution, still get 100 uh, frames per second. They're going across the good old game tree. We've got a cheap gaming PC. That's all they've listed this thing as. There's no specs, nothing like it, but they do say that the performance in Fortnite is pretty bad with the power cable plugged in. So what I'm thinking is they might've just plugged this whole computer off the uh, CPU and then saying they're getting bad FPS. So it's interesting regardless. I'm keen to actually take a gamble on this where I've offered them $200 Aussie dollars they've accepted and they said, come pick it up. So we're gonna go pick that up on the way up to Brisbane, which is where all these deals are currently at. Though the next deal was really interesting too. It's just been listed. Someone else has put an offer down. They're asking $300 Aussie dollars for an i3 system, but the case power supply, water cooler, and 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory on an H170 motherboard does make this more, more appealing. So hopefully they'll get back to us on that one because you just pretty much add an i7 in a good graphics card. You get yourself a really decent gaming PC, something in the mid range. Then next up, we've got a 79, uh, 70 with a water block and it's going for 70 Aussie dollars, but I've got a spare cooler on an older uh, sort of gone 7970, which I can take the cooler off and put it on this. So I've offered them 50 Aussie dollars. They said negotiable. Hopefully they get back and we'll score a bargain there. And then next up is an i7 6700 put down 150 Aussie dollars. They've already gotten back to us and said 225. Uh, it's pretty expensive, man. Like you're going into like i5 9400F territory there, as well as even uh, going past the Ryzen 5 2600. So that's way too much for a 6700. Then last up, we've got the most interesting deal, and that is a crypto rig with 16 RX 460s and six RX 470s. They're asking 1600. Uh, I said to them, look, 1400 if all the GPUs are working and they check out, especially if they've already got gaming uh, BIOSes loaded into them. So what's happening with Ethereum? I was gonna make a separate video for you guys. There's something interesting that's going on in that world, but we can talk about it a bit later because we've got to get up before the sun goes too far down. And I've also noticed that Les has listed some HPs up on Gumtree. So I'm gonna track him down and see if we can go clean him out as well. So we just went to this shopping center and it's got a computer store there and we managed to buy quite a bit of stuff. Even though it's a little bit more pricey than what I'm used to getting, it's still decent prices due to the fact that there's a lot of shortages in stock. So uh, we picked up like, I think in total, like 10 one terabyte hard drives, five 500 gigabyte hard drives, a few, they had actually a few potato graphics cards on hand, which I ended up getting too, like R, 7260Xs and also a um, R73 or R9, sorry, all this terminology and naming, 
R9 370X and also a GTX 1060 6 gigabytes. So I'll put the prices quickly up on the screen for you guys, but now we've got to head to MSY and go get a few cases too. So going through MSY looking for cases, even like LED ring fans and stuff like that, they had absolutely nothing. Like we've got five cases, that's all they had left. So we got a few of them for builds. But other than that, it's looking pretty dry. So we're trying to pick up what we can, when we can. But now, since we're about 15 minutes from Les's place, we're gonna go pay him a visit since he had an ad up on Gumtree, an i3 uh, HP, fourth gen. So we'll quickly see what he's got, see what he's all about, and it's worth a try. Yeah, the i3 4160, yes, correct. 110 bucks, HP, 400 yeah, yeah. G1, correct. Have you got any one, have you got any more of those, or? Yeah, they're ready to go. Yeah, I mean, uh, have you got any DDR3 as well? No. <laughs> like any? I've got it, but I need it all myself, dude. Four, five, like any? Holy shit. Well, yeah. Okay, all right, brother, I'll see you soon. All right, all right. I'll, I won't be back till probably right on time. I'll be leaving right now. That's all right, I'll see you soon. All right, all right bye. See you, also, a quick update on the offers while we're on the road. Some of the people have gotten back to us. The R9 270, they were firm on $80, and so that's really a no-go for me since that place, even that shopping center, had better prices and better GPUs. So we leave that one sitting. There was also the GTX 645. They wanted $30 for it, so I'm gonna leave that sitting. And then the Gemini case, we put an offer on this for 70. They said 75, so I'm like, sure, I'll take that. 75 seems decent since I do need RGB cases that have a bit of good bling-worthy bling on them at this point in time. And then stepping over to Gumtree, uh, we've got that gaming PC that we're still gonna go get. So hopefully we'll get that on the way back. Just gotta make it to Les's before he closes up shop because he always gets annoyed when I go there too late. <laughs> So after going through Les's, uh, I guess the last of his stash, he only had that HP on Gumtree, the i3, which he gave us for a hundred bucks. And then he had some dirty keyboards, which I always ask for, really dirty. So we're gonna give them some tech, yes, loving. And there's no monitors, there's no RAM, there's no SSDs, no hard drives. Everything is just running dry. So even Les is getting cleaned out where he can't get any more stock. So whatever. It's chaotic times. Let's go get a chaotic deal, which is this Gemini. And it's only about 10 minutes away, which is great. So it's still sunlight. I'm getting through today's potato hunt extremely quickly. So picking up that Gemini case, that was 75 bucks. And we're in this open area farm right now it's actually kind of beautiful so this place called Rochadale it's really close to Brisbane but it's also got a lot of farmland so I mean what can I say I'm a scenic kind of guy so I'm just checking out this last ad here the gaming PC ad <laughs> Like they brought the computer over and like had this LED controller just sticking out of it. I'm like, wow, that's like actually a fire hazard. But then I saw like the G41 and I'm like, wow, Core 2 Duo. And then there was some potato graphics card in there. So I was like, you know what? I'll just keep my 200 bucks. And I told him like, as you know, the main excuse was it was too dangerous to buy. So I left it as is. And so, yeah, we're gonna get on back to the Tech Yes studio from here on in. So we've now got the cream of the crop here lined up on the desk. It wasn't a massive haul here today, but I did get some new cases uh, from the MSY store. And so as I've got some motherboards lying around and I'm just piecing together some RAM and some hard drives here, I'll be able to piece together some builds where it's getting to the stage where you might be seeing a trend already. First and second episode were pretty good. Third episode now, I'm just like trickling in parts 
and getting whatever I can. And so we've got here the R7 370X. This is an interesting little card because it's a small form factor yet it still packs a punch and it only needs a six pin. So that's not a bad pickup. Then of course we've got these uh, 260 X's, which will be great. I mean, for 50 Aussie dollars, I can't complain too much considering it will play Fortnite, which is the most important thing. People are so hungry for these budget Fortnite PCs right now. So I bought the other one that they had there too. Then this was a 1066 gigabyte, which only needed a six pin. So it's gonna go pretty well considering the power supplies I have on hand at the moment are really, I've only, got like 450 watt power supplies and 400 watt power supplies so all these cards here are going to go perfectly with that and then we've got two four gigabyte sticks of ram we had to pay 15 aussie dollars each a stick because literally everywhere i'm going now uh, ram's getting sold out and then behind that we've got 500 gigabyte hard drives these are great for say coupling with the 260x on a budget build then we've got the one terabyte hard drives even though they say 30 dollars on them i got all these for 26 a pop and these here for 15 Aussie dollars a pop. So things are getting a little bit more expensive and I am paying a little bit more than I'm used to paying. But the thing about those prices increasing is that that's also flowing on to the final price of the PC builds, where it's anything from like 20 to 30% more than you're used to selling a PC for. That's how much prices have gone up all of a sudden. And they probably will go up even more if this situation isn't alleviated anytime soon. But this was the uh, HP ProDesk 400. Les had this lying around. That's literally all he had. And so I'm going to, I've got an i5 fourth gen. So I'm gonna put that with the i5, add another four gigabytes of RAM, take the 250 gigabyte hard drive out. You can use that in an office PC, put in a one terabyte hard drive. And now we've got a fourth gen gaming PC with say this uh, 370X right here. Now we've got these keyboards. They're gonna get some tech yes loving tomorrow morning. Bit late to do that tech yes loving right now. And now we're at the finish line where I think the total haul here today was 1198 Aussie dollars. So we did get a heap of cases. We also got that Gemini case, which I think is roughly a 25% discount. But thing is with that Gemini case is that right now RGB cases are in demand. So the fact that I got it cheaper than even the retail price, which this is the retail price before the US dollar got stronger against the Aussie dollar, I think that's a deal on its own. So anytime I think something's a deal, I'm gonna take the plunge on it, but it is worrying to see what will happen in the next few weeks. One thing for sure is I got no idea what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna keep staying positive and I'm gonna keep my eyes open because I notice a lot of the competition out there, I think there's people who are just hanging on Gumtree and Facebook, at least in my area, and they're just waiting. Like they're hitting F5 every five minutes, F5, F5, bang. F5 for the five minute refresh so they can get on the deals as soon as possible. That's what you're seeing. And that's just what happens during these times where supply goes to an all time low and then demand actually increases because more people are staying home and they need either a gaming PC or something to do a hybrid of their uh, schoolwork and doubling down as a gaming PC in their spare time. Though in terms of deals that we either left sitting or we missed out on, there was also the GTX 660 uh, GS the guy got back to me, said he would take the 50 Aussie dollars, but this happened like just 10 minutes ago and I'm already now back at the Gold Coast. So I'm not gonna run all the way up to Brisbane again just to get a GTX 660. There was also the, uh, I think we mentioned before, there was the guy uh, that wanted $80 for his uh, 270 non-X and you can basically get them online cheaper, like buy it now for that price and that's delivered to your door so you don't have to do anything so i just messaged this guy back and said look 60 is fair dude and so that one just went Woo. and with all that aside i hope you guys enjoyed episode three of potato hunter if you did then be sure to hit that like button also let us know in the comment section below what was your favorite pickup in today's video we're going low and the good thing is i've sold a lot of these budget builds so far and the feedback that's coming in on them is actually really good they're impressed that it plays fortnite even on low settings at 100 percent screen resolution it's still enough to uh, give them an enjoyable experience so that's the reason why i didn't pick up that ddr2 system earlier because i just know in the back of my mind that thing is going to be horrible whoever picks it up and tries to game on that thing we'll just be having a bad experience, especially if it's something like Fortnite or if it's some other titles out there. I was done with LGA 775 a couple of years ago and it's just off my radar now. But that's because not only is the performance actually quite bad, it's just too problematic with everything involved in the age of that platform. 
And let's be real, I ain't paying $200 for LG 8775 Though, before I do get on out of here, we got the question of the day, which comes from Tanmay, and they ask, can I use a hairdryer instead of a heat gun? And the answer to that one is quite simply no, the hairdryer just simply won't get hot enough to make any impact or try and revive any of those parts on board, or of course melt the solder down, as opposed to a heat gun, which actually can get a lot hotter. And in fact, on my heat gun, I have to turn it down two thirds of the way, because if you turn it up, the card will start glowing, and that's not a good sign. It means it's getting too hot. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put the link to that video up here, where I bake GPUs as a last resort. And I do say this, last resort, if you've got nothing to lose, then you sometimes in rare circumstances can get uh, either a little bit of life or a lot longer of a life out of a graphics card. Hope that answers that question and I will catch you guys in another tech video very soon. If you stay this far and you're enjoying that content, then be sure to hit that sub button and ring that bell on the way out and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out for now. Bye.